What's the deal, Patreon, man? Look, we back with another banger for y'all, man. So, look. Look, we got a special one over here, man. I was debating whether I wanted to put this one up on uh, Patreon exclusively. If I was going to do, like, a longer version on Patreon and, like, a condensed version on YouTube. Uh, but I think this is going to be a Patreon exclusive, man. We just hit the honey. We just hit the honey subscribers. So, I will be putting out the giveaway details early next week. And I just wanted to make sure I gave you guys, you know, a video that's only for y'all. You know, I know I put out of some of the uh, the World Cup matches only for you guys. And some of the World Cup matches have been for both. But I wanted to make sure y'all got an exclusive. Because y'all decided to pay me directly. Support me directly. So I got to make sure I support you guys directly right back. So we're going to do predictions for the quarterfinals all the way through until the final match for the world cup man we got the teams listed we got all eight teams right here i made this little bracket so we just gonna run with the bracket right here i'll give my explanation for why i think each team's gonna win and y'all can let me know in the comments whether you agree with me or not let's get to it man so this might be a longer video so sorry in advance but first up round one man we got wells versus argentina I don't think we got to think about too hard about this one. Wells got it. We all know Wells got it. They're going to take the dub. Argentina's going to take the L. Uh, it is one It is one game single elimination. So there's always a chance that Argentina can come out and go crazy. But Wells is going to win. We all know that. We all think that. They're going to get the dub, bro. If Argentina wins, crazy upset. That, that'd be an insane upset right here. But this is where things get a little bit more interesting. We got Ireland versus New Zealand. This is where I get torn at. The reason being is because my heart, my heart tells me New Zealand got it. All Blacks got it. My brain tells me Ireland got it. So I had to crunch some numbers, figure out some things, man. This is what I figured out. So if we're looking at just from the, uh, the qualifying rounds, the group rounds, Ireland, total points, 190, plus minus, 144. 4-0, no losses. Turnovers forced, 27. We look at New Zealand, 253 points total versus 190, 206, plus minus. 3-1, only loss was the France. Turnovers forced, 38. Okay. So, based on those numbers, I mean, you, you probably just want to give it to New Zealand, right? But, and that's just those numbers from these group rounds. But, New Zealand tends to dominate, I mean, extremely dominate the lesser teams. So, that can be a part of that point differential. But now, this is where we go into New Zealand versus Ireland. These are all their matches, international matches that they had against each other. What I'm focusing on is 2022 all the way to 2023. And if we look at that, Ireland's won two out of those three. They've won the last two, 22 to 32, 12 to 23. And then right before that, New Zealand won 42 to 19 convincingly. If we keep looking back and we go down the years all the way until 2016, they've traded matches every single year they've traded matches but the last two have gone to ireland and the way ireland's playing right now what can i say i got ireland taking the dust i know some of i know a lot of y'all gonna be mad i got a lot of y'all on patreon from new zealand y'all gonna be mad about that one but i got ireland beat new zealand man y'all let me know what you think i don't know what to tell you bro they beat them they beat them the last two out of three games they've traded games uh for the since 2016 and Ireland looks like they're playing better. They got no losses. They beat South Africa in the group stage. They got no losses. New Zealand ended up losing to France. First game. Opening. <laughs> the opening game, by the way. So I got them taking the dub. Now, England versus Fiji. As much as I love Fiji, they just haven't been playing well the last few games. England's been looking pretty solid all the way through. I got England taking the dub. Pretty simple. I mean, if you disagree with that, you're going to have to find a real good reason to disagree with that because I got England taking the dump, but Fiji could easily 
come out, play play stupid, and they can win that game. 100 percent Um, if they're attacking is on point, if Simi Rodrada, Rodrada and and, and Josua to each over are playing A plus games, <laughs> it could be dangerous for England. This is now where we get into France versus South Africa. Alright. And again, we go back to the numbers. If we look at France and South Africa, man, look. France. 210 total points, 178 plus minus. 4 and 0, no losses, 27 forced turnovers. Look at South Africa, 151 points, 117 plus minus, 3 and 1, only loss was to Ireland, and 22 forced turnovers. Again, looking at the numbers. Damn, I didn't know my mic was that low. I hope y'all heard me the whole time. My mic was super low. Um, again, looking at the numbers. On paper, you got to give that next time. Peace.